Good morning, guys. I finished all my morning CF stuff, and now I'm just kind of hanging out. Um, I decided that I'm not going to go for a run today. I'm probably just going to go for a nice uh, walk with Panda and take a recovery day from yesterday because even though it was only a quarter mile, it was the most intense quarter mile I've ever done. Um, and uh, so I'm probably just going to go for a walk with him today and uh, pick up running tomorrow. I can already tell that it is going to be a really warm day just by the fact that when I went outside to go get the mail, it was already steaming at like 10, 9.30 in the morning. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to be a hot day, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad about that. You know, it's almost May. I want it to be, <laughs> I want it to be hot. Well, not warm anyway. Um, but yeah, so for now I'm just kind of hanging out. Um, had a good bit of coughing this morning. Uh, just don't know why. Just random, you know. But CF life. Some days you have more coughing, and some days you don't. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's really all there is. <laughs> that's all there has really been to my morning so far. I'm um, just getting all my more normal stuff out of the way and uh, just resting. So, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so it was such a nice day. I wanted to be outside, um, but it's not quite time to go to the barn yet. So I decided to come clean off our trampoline. It's been years since I've even been up here. Um, we've had this for, I don't even know how long, years upon years upon years. Um, and it really wasn't that dirty. It just needed to be cleaned up a little bit. So that is what I am doing. And I brought a Mountain Dew with me to, because it's hot. <laughs> um, but I'm kind of pondering, uh, it's been like years since I've even been up here, but um, maybe three, four now years ago, I spent the night out on the trampoline and it was a lot of fun. Um, and I'm kind of pondering doing that tomorrow night because tomorrow night's gonna be a full moon. Um, I don't know, I feel like it would be fun. And uh, I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna do it or not yet. There's a lot of logistics in play, like mosquitoes and temperature, but, um, <laughs> I, uh, I might do it. If I do end up doing it, I'm not sure how the vlog's gonna work tomorrow. Um, but, I mean, I could up, I have Wi-Fi, I could upload it, but it'd probably be up a lot later than normal. But, I feel like it would be kind of cool to maybe sleep up here tomorrow night um, during the full moon and then set my alarm early and wake up and watch the sunrise uh, come up over the field. So I might, <laughs> I might do that. Um, live a little, camp out in the backyard. I've done that twice in my life. Um, I, I did it once on the tramp. Well, I attempted it twice on the trampoline. The first time it was like storming all night and I was like, I am not about to become, because this thing is metal, so I'm like, I'm not about to become a giant lightning rod, so that didn't pan out. Um, but the second time, it was a really nice night, and I slept out here, um, and it was nice. And uh, then the second time I slept out in the backyard, I slept in the field, because the sunrise comes up over the, our field over there. But I will never do that again, because dew came into the grass. Plus, when I'm on the trampoline, I'm kind of off the ground a little bit, so I'm away from the bugs. Um, but I woke up with spiders on me, ants on me, and dew-covered sleeping bags, so that was not a fun experience. Um, but yeah, I'm seriously considering sleeping up here tomorrow night. I don't see why not. I'll get it cleaned off, um, and I might do it. So, we'll see how I feel about it tomorrow night. Or, so, anyway, but <clears throat> for now, I'm just going to clean it. And uh, just kind of sit up here for a little bit and enjoy the sunshine. I don't really trust jumping on it just because the springs are rusted and I haven't been up here in a couple years. I don't want to like jump on it and fall through the trampoline, so I'm not going to do that. But <laughs> um, just going to enjoy it anyway. Yeah, so I just got out to the barn and do some work with the four girls I've been working with. Oh, it's hot today. I thought we were supposed to be 70 degrees, but we're like over 80. <laughs> But um, they're all just kind of hanging out over here. And um, I think I might start with Pistol Annie because she's kind of off by herself, so that'll be easiest. Um, and go from there. So hopefully they behave themselves better than they did a couple days ago because that was interesting. Um, but you just see, you never know with horses. So 
I will let you guys know how it goes. Well, so far I've done three of the four. Ooh, I don't know what got into diamond. Uh, Pistolini was okay. Blondie was amazing. She was perfect. Uh, Chip. Oh my goodness, me and her got locked into a battle of wills, and in the end I won, but she kept, um, I caught her pretty easily. Um, and then I was just asking her to pick up her front feet, and, uh, she was just not having it. She, <clears throat> she actually slammed her hoof down so hard one time she cut my finger because I cut the end of it. Um, but she just kept throwing her feet, slamming them down, nearly slipped on my foot, so I just kept circling her around and asking her again over and over. Finally got her to stand calm for a second, and I let her down and I ended it there. Um, but man, she was a piece of work today. Um, my arm hurts from trying to hang on to her foot. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to let Blount and Brownie get a drink here, and, uh, then I'm going to work with her, which I'm not looking forward to, per se, because <clears throat> usually she does what Chip did, did, and, um, my poor shoulder already can't take much more, but, um, hopefully maybe, maybe they swap personalities and she'll be good, I don't know. Anyway, oh yeah, now you're going to come say hi and be all sweet, yeah, I know, if you did all that, yeah, I know. I mean. So, anyway, after she's done, I'm gonna work with her, call it a day, but, um, never know what I'm getting myself into when I come out here with the halter, that's for sure. The one plus was Blondie, was just phenomenal. I couldn't have asked for her to be better, so, she's my A plus student of the day. <laughs> you, Missy, are my, um, I think you get an F, maybe a D, just because you didn't hurt me. We well, kinda did. She does not care. All right, I'm gonna die one of these days. <laughs> Kept it short and sweet with her because she uh, stepped on my foot, and then I guess she lost her balance or something. She fell onto me halfway um, when I was getting her to pick pick up her one of her front feet. She literally fell on me halfway, and I had to quickly put her foot down, or I was gonna have a horse on top of me. So anyway. But after that, she uh, she was good. So I, I think it was probably like a fly or something bugged her. Because um, after that, she let me pick up her feet fine. It wasn't like, I don't think it was actually her resisting. I think it was a, a fly or something bugged her. But um, anyway, all's well that ends well. I didn't get crushed. She was good. I was worried about her for a second because she, she fell on her leg and I thought she was going to hurt herself. Um, so it scared the bejeebies out of me. But she's all right. I'm all right. I think I might take tomorrow off of training. Yeah, sounds good. Hey guys, so I'm just hanging out with them while they're eating. Maxine, it's quite uh, it's quite muddy out here. Um, I was thinking about how it's funny how I've been coming out here for two years, uh, two years in June, so close enough. In the past two days, <laughs> I just have no luck. Um, almost got kicked by um, Matt and Blaze yesterday, and then today. <laughs> Uh, Chip, <coughs> I, I probably shouldn't have attempted fate after Chip, probably should have just called it a day at that, but, um, it wasn't Brownie's fault, it wasn't my fault, she just tripped. Um, really though, to be honest, after I was clear, I was more worried about her than I was about me, because she, like, I had to, like, go over foot, because she was going to land on me otherwise, and she, like, knuckled over when she landed so I was like oh my gosh she's gonna break her leg um, but she was fine so I like I, I had this moment of like panic for her but <clears throat> just goes to show you how crazy life with horses can be because when you love you know a um, thousand pound animal it can be the best of the best or the worst of the worst and most of the time it's in between but today I've been on the or today and yesterday I've been on the the low scale and so <laughs> Hopefully I'll go back up soon, um, but regardless, it is a beautiful afternoon, and uh, now I'm just going to, typically once I'm done training and grooming, I just kind of follow them around essentially and listen to music and
and uh, enjoy the afternoon. So that is what I'm gonna do. And uh, I still think I might sleep out tomorrow night. I haven't completely decided yet, but leaning towards it. So, gonna enjoy these guys, blood and all. Um, by the way, random side note, because somebody had asked um, how old the horses were at one point uh, in a comment. Um, Blondie is three, Matt and Blaze are three, Donk and Denali are three, and Pistolani is three. Um, from Brownie to Fancy, they range between eight and 15. And then Maxine over here is going to be 22 this year. She looks good for a 22 year old horse, I think. <laughs> She's older than me. So that's a random side note, but in case you guys were ever wondering how old they are, that's how old they are. So going to hang out and uh, there's a nice breeze picking up, so it's not quite as hot. And enjoy the afternoon. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and say good night. I got back from the barn and then we walked to a little corner store that's about a mile from our house and got some pizza for dinner. So I'm going to eat that um, and get my treatment out of the way and uh, just kind of wind down for the night. So thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.